So welcome back to the another Friday commute 22nd, 23rd? 22nd or 23rd? I can't remember Thinking of something to maybe just talk about I'd got onto the idea of the best bike scenes in a movie in my opinion so I thought maybe I'll just run down like a little list of my favourite bike scenes in a movie so here we go let's let's do this shit in no order at all because I probably wouldn't be able to put them in order because they're all just fucking awesome but yeah we'll start off with Spawn if anyone remembers that movie from like the 90s uh, yeah I'm not really going into too much detail about it but basically he has he's a hell spawn I think it's played by the guy who's in the Dark Knight he, Gambit is it? it puts a hit out on the Joker I think it's played by him I'm not too sure though but um yeah, he's being, he's chasing this other demon called the Violator in a garbage truck and he's shooting grenades at him and he's on, I think he's on a Kawasaki and he's just saying like, oh, getting knocked about and then he, you know, he realises he can wrap his cape around the bike uh, he's got this massive red cape that just like does whatever he wants it to do kind of thing it's like armour as well and uh, yeah, he wraps it around the bike and it just looks sick as fuck and then it turns the bike into like this big armoured fucking unit and it's just like yeah you weren't fucking penetrating this and it's, it's just pretty cool I mean I watched it last night when I was thinking of it and I was like it is massively outdated because you can so tell he's doing about 10 miles an hour on it and not that but you can easily tell he doesn't even know how to ride a motorbike or if he does it's not very well going into the next one I think it's Rogue Nation for Mission Impossible Oh, punch the camera then Yeah, I think it was Rogue Nation I think he's on a BMW I think uh, He's being chased But it's Tom, it's Tom Cruise and you know he does his own stunts And he's going at some insanely high speed And you know for a fact he is actually doing this insanely high speed Because it's Tom Cruise and he does shit like that and just knowing that just adds to the flavour of the scene because it's just fucking mental. It's like knocking people off bikes like probably over 100 miles an hour. It's insane. It's absolutely awesome. I think the next scene, the next one, is Trinity in the Matrix Reloaded when they're on the motorway. That's a pretty cool scene. She like jumps off the bridge onto a, uh, a lorry carrying all these motorbikes. She picks one. Hotwires it. Well, she's not hotwires. She gets a key for it, and she, she like, you know, rides away. But then I think an agent appears in a, another lorry, tries to ram her off, and then she turns around and rides into the traffic. And even though she is probably on a track, so it's not even real. But they just the, the skill of it, she's just like weaving in and out, dodging cars and all this shit, and it's like it's just fucking mint to watch it. Uh the next one uh was Tron Legacy. Two scenes in this mainly. Uh, I think it's quite early on in the film at the beginning when he's on his Ducati, I believe, and he's like speeding through the streets and got the Tron music playing over it and it's just fucking awesome you know that's pretty sick and then also the light cycles are they called light bikes light cycles they're awesome and the final bike scene I think this is probably the number one but only because it's me is the Dark Knight when the tumbler gets destroyed and then he's initiating the the bike pod is it the pod i don't think it's called the pod is it 
his motorcycle basically you know he's getting that ready and then it just boom comes flying out the fucking thing and it's just like sick as fuck and that is a pretty dope bike I would, I would actually like to have that motorcycle it'd be massive it'd be absolutely massive alright it's been a pleasure having you I'm going to wrap this one up here look at that I hope you can see that I'm just messing about with the chin mount on camera and I hope it's not too low it probably is you're probably just looking at the ground and if it is well that sucks but anyway it's been a pleasure having you Thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time.